My name is Sean McGrath, founder of WideAwakeNews.com, and just last week, the Department of Justice announced the creation of a new council, the Domestic Terror Council. They came out again last week, and I say again because we remember uh, Eric Holder talking about the thing that keeps him awake at night is not foreign terror, but domestic terror. We've heard back, uh, going back several years, if you're a Ron Paul supporter, if you believe in uh, gun rights, if you believe in states' rights, if you believe in a monetary system not based on uh, banker rule, that you could be labeled a domestic terrorist. And, you know, th this notion isn't gone away. It's becoming more and more aggressive, more and more uh, threatening to your personal individual freedom. Even this video itself is now being uh, labeled as something uh, that is anti-government in nature, therefore would put me under suspicion just for communicating to you on uh, social media. Domestic terror groups pose a greater threat to the U.S. than ISIS or Al-Qaeda. This was just said uh, by the Justice Department a few days ago. You know, so rehashing this over and over again. Let's not forget uh, ISIS and Al-Qaeda, you know, the Patriot Act that was created that led to uh, total surveillance planet, total police state in this country, uh, total decimation of nations around the world. Look at the effort that was uh, put out uh, to eradicate terrorism around the world. Now our government is telling us that that isn't the big threat. The big threat is right here at home, right here in our own country. We have to worry about the individuals that want to cause any kind of, uh, any kind of trouble. The new council was announced by uh, John Carlin, Assistant Attorney General. And I'm going to read you verbatim, and I don't want to screw this up because it's chilling in and of itself. Uh, I want to read you verbatim what the, the reasons given for the creation of the domestic terror counseling. Following a number of violent attacks or plots against the U.S. that were motivated by anti-government views, comma, anarchy, comma, racism, or bigotry, um, and other despicable beliefs. So this, this sums it up. They, you know, they, they list it in the order of what they're really going after. Anti-government views, if you believe that your government is betraying you, is selling you down the river, if your government is in bed with corporate special interests, that is an anti-government belief. And if you dare to speak out, if you dare do step away from pop culture and think for yourself and speak out and try to uh, talk to individuals that might be like-minded or try to convince people to wake the hell up and realize what's happening before their eyes in their own country in the span of one generation. Look at the destruction of personal individual freedom in our country. If you dare to have that point of view and you have the brass to come on social media and talk about it, you are now uh, in a club that uh, can be considered uh, anti-government or anarchist in, uh, in their beliefs. And you will be lumped with racists, with uh, white supremacists, with KKK, with other uh, groups that, uh, that have negative connotation to them, just so the government that is trying to tell you that if you think ill of it makes you a criminal can be, have a self-fulfilling uh, legislation, can have a self-fulfilling fulfilling prophecy to say, look, Charlie McGrath's out there talking anti-government rhetoric. He has to be investigated. He has to be watched. Our laws have to be changed because just calling him a domestic terrorist um, or labeling him a domestic terrorist isn't a crime. So we need to look at everything that happens in this in the United States under a fine microscope and see if we can connect it to hate, to racism, to bigotry, to being a domestic terrorist. Because then all of a sudden, your government can kill you and not give you any, give your family any explanation. Can black bag you, take you uh, to who knows what hell hole for who knows how long without any contact with your friends, family, the court system, because you are pigeonholed into uh, one group or another. But make no mistake about it, this isn't anything fresh and new. This is something that's been going on for a long, long time. It is escalating. While we see Russia attacking ISIS in, uh, inside of Syria, while we see you know, the, the global economy come to a grinding halt, be, you know, rest assured that this government is doing everything possible in order to facilitate your safety by spying on you and making you into a criminal if you dare to think for yourself. 
Stories are attached. I'll be back. Maybe.